This video will provide a simple explanation of the screen printing process. The video is licensed under the Creative Commons Attribution Non-Commercial Sharealike License. The process starts with a wooden frame. Emulsion is then applied to that wooden frame, usually two or three coats depending on the emulsion type. That emulsion takes and covers up the holes that are in the mesh of the screen, which creates a stencil. Next, that stencil is dried for 24 hours so the emulsion can cure, and then it's ready to go. The next step in the process is the pre-press design. During this phase, a design is created in a program and is then printed to a vellum positive, um, right reading, and notice that the design is printed all in black. Next, that design vellum is placed on top of the screen and it's placed inside of a burner and it's exposed to light so it basically burns that design right onto the wooden stencil. Next, that wooden stencil is placed in a spray booth and it's sprayed with water which takes and removes the actual design from the stencil. So it's left with holes um, so that you can squeegee through ink. So next, ink is applied to the stencil and the stencil is placed on top of the substrate which is usually you know a shirt, pants, shorts, um, any cotton product. Then that ink is spread straight across in a thicker bead type of fashion across the design so it covers the entire width of it. Next a squeegee is placed at about a 45 degree angle and we take and push that ink right through the mesh. That design is then transferred to the t-shirt and the process is done. So now you're probably wondering how do we do multiple colors? So you can do unlimited colors um, screen printing as long as your machine has the capabilities for multiple colors. So first what you would do is separate your design. So you're going to separate it into the two colors or multiple colors that you're using. You'll have one piece of vellum for each color. So here I've got a pink separation for the D and the star. Those little target marks on there are actually registration marks which help you line up the design um, onto the palette. So below that is my blue separation. Notice I have only the blue design printed with the registration marks to help me line it up. When this is printed then I end up with my two colors on my substrate. So that is your simple um, description of the screen printing process. And thank you to my sources for the four images that I used. Have a good day.